Hi everybody, it's Diane with another impromptu type project. I had no idea what to do today. And I had saved this little box. Kind of cute. Um, it was an Easter thing. I thought, you know, she could do something with that. So I think I'm going to do a journal. We're going to give it the school try at any rate. So if I cut that off and I cut this side, that should work, right? I hope someone's agreeing with me out there. Okay, so far so good. Oh, how stuck is this? Pretty darn stuck. Okay, let me cut this stuff off. I know, I have seen some people, they glue those up to make whatever sturdier, which is a very good idea. But this cardboard is not bad anyway, and since it's so small, I don't know that it's sturdy is a big issue for this. And I hope not because I just cut them all off. All right, let's even up the cutting here. All right. Should work. I don't know why it wouldn't. Uh, I think I'm going to take a trimmer to these sides. They're not that perfect. Okay, and what kind of prompted me to do this too, I received a little thank you packet from Possum Patty. I'll link her below. Um, some of you may recall she had a birthday challenge to send her just one item for her birthday. And anyway, I did that. So she sent me a thank you with just a little note, a pretty tag, and then a bunch of die cuts, which are nice because I don't have a die cut machine. And this paper is really pretty too. Most of it has uh, in, like a glittery effect. Of course, you have to have bubbles from her, if any of you know her. Aren't these cool? Flowers. And a cute card with her blowing bubbles and her braids. And then a nice piece of paper here. And since the back of this is not too cool, it's like, oh, well, that means. <laughs> so I just had this stuff on my counter. And I'm like, yeah, okay. So that's why we decided to do this. So in the yeah, okay department, I think I will trim this up better on a trimmer. I don't know if that the top is okay if I should come down to that point it's okay all right and then I'm going to definitely use some of this for either the back or the inside and then come up with something else for the back or inside and then cut some paper and I think I'm going to add some of this stuff to the pages then cool okay well thanks very much Patty so I'll come back when all that's done. Hang on. All right, I'm turning the camera back on just for a couple seconds here to show you. Well, one, I could not decide which side to use. They both look really good. But I did go with the little dots just because it's small, you know, small scale. Okay. And then I thought, well, I, mean, I should probably put something in the spine to reinforce that a little bit. This, like, fits in there almost perfectly. I have to trim it a little bit. But it's just a leftover. So I think this journal is meant to be. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I have pages cut. Isn't this cool? You could see some white in there, so that's paint. I used the flip side of the paper just to be different. Scrapbook paper scraps I had for pockets. Do we love the back? I do. 
yeah, this journal is starting to scare me. I had this piece, it was almost perfect. I had to trim about a quarter inch off. And then that's Patty's bubble die cut. Isn't that cool? That's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, so I've got two signatures. They fit in there fine. And yeah, this is pretty substantial at this point, in case you're curious. So I'm going to decorate pages. Um, I'm making this for myself, so as I've said before, forgive me for repeating, I tend to make them plain because I embellish and add as I go. So anyway, most of them I'm going to leave. But I wanted to put on some of these cool die cuts. And a sticker from her envelope I got peeled off in one piece. And then as a footnote, this is her envelope. I did cover up my address, but <laughs> she had drawn a snail. And it's a snail mail. Isn't that cute? I, I think it's drawn. It, I don't think that's a stamp. Well, tell me, Patty. Did you draw that or is it a stamp? Either or. It's pretty cute. Okay. Okay. I like that. You know what? I'm not going to bother to glue. You, you don't have to watch me glue. I'll glue by myself. Oh, with her envelope, I made a couple tucks, so I'm going to save her tag and put it in. But yes, I think we could decorate that. Oh, and this, is that too big? That's too big. What about a butterfly? Ooh, that's cool. Ooh, that's cool. Okay. Well, maybe we want the owl on something white so the the border doesn't show up as brightly. And I did think I have a couple scrapbook papers that have snails on them that I've yet to use. This one. But which one? Um well of course I like pink. <laughs> I'm going to be a nerd and come in here and take that one. All right. Get over there. So we'll put that maybe on this side. All right. We want the owl here. And then she had a couple bubbles above him. This one, it's not my fault, it got a little postmark on it. So something like that. Okay. There's the other side of the snail mail. Maybe one of these on there. It's pretty. Ooh, I like that. Okay. I also grab since um, it's chocolate bunny, well, milk chocolate caramel bunnies. I grabbed the rabbit paper I have. Hmm. I also have this one. Well, I don't like it for that. I don't think that's going to. Ew. Maybe the brown rabbit thought could go on that. Okay. That matches. That's pretty. All right. I got to remember that. That doesn't match so great. That's better. Okay. What about one of these bunnies? And I just cut one out to put my glue book because I have a spring page. So I thought that looks springy. That's kind of nice there. Okay. I really like this 
paint. It's one of those coated ones. It's like glitter, but it's coated. So people like me don't go, ew, there's glitter on it. What about in the middle? That'd be kind of cute. Okay. And no, I don't intend to use up every single one of these cuts, but I could. This one's a little darker. That's kind of cool. Okay. The flower. Okay, that matches nicely. Okay. All right, it's getting late here, people, and I don't want to turn into a pumpkin. So I'm going to call it a day, glue this stuff in. I might add one of the gray rabbits. I might add some washi. Okay, I had to stop the camera because I had a low battery message. I'm going to do this off camera and come back and charge the stupid phone. Hang on. Okay, here we are all done. Pretty cute. I had crochet cotton that matched. There's the back once again. I put Patty's tag in here. That's part of the packaging. Some washi. I did not decorate much because like I said, when I have my own journals, that scrapbook paper, I add stuff as I go. So I don't do it ahead of time. Washi tape. I forgot I had. Stickers from Patty's Envelope. Little sticker. Yeah, I had um, from your Paws Easter Egg dye kit. I had those left over. Yeah, I had another rabbit scrapbook paper. I thought I did. I was right. It's part of Patty's paper. I had a few little scraps left, so I added them. Another sticker, scrapbook paper, it's part of the box. Oh, we missed a washi. Hang on one second. Two seconds. It's washi tape down there. Another sticker. Stickers. And a sticker. So pretty neat, huh? And um, this was too tall to fit in there. But I think because of the colors, I'm going to keep it with it and make it like a um, bookmark and or writing board. And I failed to men mention or show. Isn't that cute? Okay, well, thanks very much, Patty. That was very thoughtful of you to send a thank you and to send the little freebies. I do appreciate it. But see, anything can be a journal. Pretty neat. Okay, everybody, thanks very much. Have a nice day.